guys, it's your Ford Focus here, and today we're going to be reviewing the brand new Ferrari Pininfarina Sergio, the upgrade Ferrari F50, and also the car that is most suggested from you guys, which is the Mercedes Benz CLK GTR AMG. So let's start with the brand new Ferrari. So as you see, this is the second convertible in Ultimate Driving. Seems like a bit of a competitor to Venena as well. But this has a top speed of 202 miles per hour, 326 kilometers. It's a lot of cars in ultimate driving are that speed. Even the F50 is the same speed. But this goes from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. A cast back of $1,404 a mile. A wheel wheel drive train. And asking price is a solid $6 million. So anyways... Let's get reviewing to this convertible right there. So the Ferrari Sergio in this design looks really nice. You got some uh, fans watching there. And the rear does look a lot like the Ferrari 458, but to avoid confusion, you have a engine bay over here shaping like it is a convertible and then you'll see some black mixed in with that so yeah that's something very nice right there you also got your own classic Ferrari badge and engraved at the bottom of the glue as well and the front looks very futuristic as something you never heard of. This is a relatively unknown Ferrari because only six of them are in the world in real life. So yeah, this is something really nice and futuristic. The whims are also in a good job. The color that 22 Pites did for those Ferrari whims it's really nice. Kind of like in a caramel color maybe of a gold and like you got some extra silver lug nuts and uh, whims kind of line with that so yeah I say that this is an amazing design so now the turn signals you can actually don't really see them they do not show up on the front but on the rear, it's just the small yellow circles that are classic. Just like the 45A, I guess. But yeah. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at the performance to see what this wear car has to offer. Starting over here. So we're going to be doing 0 to 100 full speed in 3, 2, 1, go. So in just an amazing 4.5 seconds, it goes 0 to 100. That's how fast this thing is, for what Ferrari has done. And about 9 seconds for zero to full speed. Let's see how braking does if we go over here. And then we'll test the handling at the circle. Braking's okay for a Ferrari. I mean, it may take a little long to brake. But still not that bad. 
You earn an amazing 3,300 experience points for every mile you make with this. I guess we'll have to redo the handling. The braking is like, eh. Ending's not too bad. I mean, it's not light. It's a little bit heavy, but it's still very good. So now, let's express my thoughts about the Ferrari Sergio. So Ferrari Sergio is a rare Ferrari that we never heard of. Because only six of them will be built in the world. And a good thing about this car, as well as like when you go grinding, it's not a wall hugger like the Venino. It has a little boost stamina in. But I'm very glad that 22 Pites brought up this. Because this is going to make people more hyped for it. Since it's a worth Ferrari that we all never really heard of. Not only that, but it's just amazing looks for the second convertible in Ultimate Driving. So I'm just really enjoying this car as well. And the front, as I said, looks very futuristic. So I'm very happy that 22 Pilots added another Ferrari and it ends up being like this. So that's amazing. So I say the second Ferrari is great. Pretty good in acceleration. Decent in handling. Braking's okay, but the looks and the way that we have a wear car. It's just amazing. So now without further ado, let's move on to the Ferrari F50 and see what the upgrades has to offer. One thing I missed with the turn signals is I found that that for the front it actually goes on the sides. So that's interesting. So the Ferrari F50 we made a lot of its history when it was first released one year ago after it had the old messes. And people really enjoyed it. And though there was a time where the 4AF50 got removed, I guess maybe there were some issues with it. And then people did not like it when it was replaced by the 360. But now, we have the Ferrari F50 again, and we're glad that's there for its return. And the good news is, for those of you who bought it a year ago, you don't need to buy this. It actually comes for free right to you. But some rather worse news for those who didn't buy the Ferrari F50 one year ago. It's at a price tag of $2,241,800 for those who did not buy the F50 when it was an old mess. But it has the same max speed as the Pininfarina Sergio, surprisingly. 3.5 seconds in 0 to 60. A cast back of $1,261 a mile. The wheel wheel drivetrain. So yes. Let's spawn it and go over the design. So the Ferrari F fifty has major improvements for its upgrades. Like the grill over here. Look at how nice the Ferrari badge looks. The headlights too. Before in the old mess, it was just one little square on each side. Now, it contains a 3D image with the same blue color in it with two headlights. And that's what the Ferrari F50 looks like in real life. We also got the nice contrast there since we have the lying update. But in the old mess car, 
you did not have all these curves. They were straight, and they were just two lights that looked pretty old, like it was pretty plain. But then, with this new Ferrari F50, it looks very nice. Now they added curves around it, made the rear lights bigger, and made the LED lights look very nice. The wing as well is also more massive with a nice curve above it. And look at how much engine parts are in the car now. That's just a major improvement. Very high detail for this. But here are the headlights now. And here are the turn signals. So on the front you get lower lights which contain turn signals also blinking on the sides and on the rear of course is the yellow LEDs so now let's see how the performance has improved this car used to be at 160 miles per hour and now it's 202 so let's start with acceleration and this earns you 1,421 experience points as well but it's time for 0 100 full speed acceleration in 3, 2, 1, go So, in roughly about 5 seconds, it's 0 to 100. Like a little less than that. And then around 10 seconds is where you get full speed. So, this is just really fast. It has improved majorly since we had the old Ferrari F50. Now, let's do braking. Ooh, really good. The handling, let's do that. The South Beats exit. Yeah, handling's pretty good as well on the Ferrari. And that's going to be it for the performance right there. Really good. So now, it's time to express my thoughts about the Ferrari F50. So we all know that we used to have this a long while back. But now, we get to have it again. So that's just something really exciting. I've missed the Ferrari F50 when it had to be replaced by the 360. But I'm sure you guys are all happy to see this again. And the best thing about it, that it is free for those who already bought the car. So that's just amazing. The design and everything, it's just gorgeous. What 22 Pilots did is amazing work. The legend is well known, and now we get to experience it again forever. So, now concluding the legend returns from the Ferrari F50, let's move on to the most suggested car from you guys. Which is the Mercedes CLK GTR AMG. So now we're at the Mercedes Benz CLK GTR AMG. Bit of a long name, but this car looks so futuristic. As it was built in the 90s. Like this looks like from outer space, pretty much. Like another planet. But I'm sorry, this was. 
built on Earth for sure. Unlike the Apollo IE. But let's go over the stats. So this thing goes to a max speed of 215 miles per hour, 347 kilometers, 3.1 seconds in 0 to 60, cast back of a solid $1,300 a mile, rear wheel drive train, 3095240 for its asking price. So now... Let's go to the part you have been waiting for. So the design of the Mercedes CLK AMG GTR or GTR AMG looks very futuristic. And again, like I said, it's built in the 90s. So Mercedes really took it ahead of its time. For this classic supercar. Maybe even a hypercar more likely. It has a little antenna on it as well. But on the front you see. That there is the divider. For the axle seating. And there is no rear window on it as well. More likely. The rear is actually just used for engine parts but overall the design is very nice side mirrors are spread out a lot and the headlights especially on the outer part have an angry look on it here are the headlights and turn signals on the front you have small circles blinking above the headlights and then the yellow icon on the sides don't really blink at all and then in 90's style it has that blinking color on the rear lights this is the outer light on each side that's very cool now let's test out the performance on the Mercedes CLK GTR AMG in three, two, one, go. So, in a little bit above four seconds, maybe a little closer to five, somewhere around that point. Is a zero to a hundred, and then nine is zero full speed at two hundred fifty miles per hour. So this thing is really fast. You earn one thousand eight hundred forty eight experience points for every mile you make of the Mercedes. Here's how braking does. Braking is really good on this. Perhaps the best out of all the cars we reviewed. Now let's check out the handling. So handling is really smooth on this. So I'd say performance is great. Now it's time that I express my thoughts about the Mercedes CLK GTR AMG. And it's a little blue staring at So like I said before, this is really advanced for what Mercedes did back in the 90s. This is an ultimate hypercar for what Mercedes has accomplished. But not only that, the performance is outstanding. I know many of you guys have suggested this car in the comments from the other videos. So the Mercedes CLK GTR AMG is worth it. Even though it has a little bit of a long name, the car is really great. Everything about this car is worth every penny for. So I say definitely go for it. But that's going to be it for the review of the Ferrari 
Pininfarina Sergio, the Ferrari F50, and the Mercedes CLK GTR AMG. Hope you guys enjoyed the video very much. You may like this video. Comment your thoughts below about the cars that I just reviewed in the video. What do you think about them? Join my Discord server located in the description and you may subscribe. Bye!